Hello and welcome to the CMC Markets Chart of the Week video with myself, David Madden, Market Analyst here at CMC Markets. And today's date is Thursday the 15th of February 2018 and the time has just gone 11.40am UK time. And this week's Chart of the Week is Standard Life Aberdeen. Taking a look at the, at the, at the daily chart over a longer dated view, we can see that from November 2016, right up until August 2017, uh, it was quite a lot of, a lot of choppy trading uh, for Standard Life Aberdeen. But as you can see, it was in a fairly solid upward trend. Uh, and since August 2017 until January of this year, or early February, January of this year, uh, the, the share was in a, a classic example of, of a sideways trend. It was very much range bound. Um, broadly speaking, the, the, the top end of the range was £4.77, this line here, and the lower end of the range was 403. So a classic example of market moving within a certain price range. A very, very, a very good example of what's called sideways trading or, or range bound trading on the particular stock. Uh, but if we're zooming closer here, we can see a couple of gaps lower on the chart. Um, at the, in, in early February of this year, when we saw a, a severe sell off in global equities, uh, and one of the main one of the main um, losers in that global sell-off was actually Standard Life Aberdeen because the logic was it is uncertainty in the financial markets, particularly in the equity markets. Investors want to cash in their investments with Standard Life Aberdeen, and, and they, they possibly in the process of withdrawing, withdrawing their funds or liquidating their position. So money managers like Standard Standard Life Aberdeen got hit uh, quite badly during the sell-off. So what we saw here was. From early from early January, it was still range bound, and then as it was drifting lower, the the, the sell off in, in financial markets kicked in, in stock markets kicked in, and one of the resultants of that was a was the, was the share price to gap lower uh, for, for for the stock, and if the share price is gapping to the downside, that tells you with the, that tells us that sentiment is negative. So as the share price was in decline here, we saw a steady increase in negative momentum on the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram. So the decline of the share price was being confirmed by the steady rise in negative momentum on the MACD indicator. The gap lower, which also coincides with the gapping below its 2 day moving average. So it's almost like a double negative. It's fallen below its 2 day moving average, which is a sign in itself that sentiment is negative. And not to mention the fact that it's actually gap below uh, to the downside as well, so it's almost like a, a double negative. Uh, the share price has since, uh, ha, ha, had a bit of a bounce back, but has since moved lower yet again. And in fact, another gap lower here. All the while, negative momentum remains quite high, so the, the increased negative momentum is confirming the negative move to the downside in the share price. So the momentum, the, the negative momentum, tells us that the the at the momentum is with the sellers, is with the bears. Uh, today's gap lower uh, as saw the, the, saw the stock drop to a 10-month low. And that was in the bank of news that Scottish widows who are owned by Lloyds, who are owned by Lloyds Group, uh, have decided to end their contract with Standard Life Aberdeen. And it's estimated that about five percent of of, of um, Standard Life Aberdeen's revenue comes from that particular contract. So the news of that contract sent the stock lower, a gap lower and sent the stock to a 10-month low. So looking at the chart here, the sentiment is clearly quite bearish. Should we see that the share price take off this morning's low, uh, which comes to play in around 350, uh, that, would be, that would be a sign that we, we, could, we could be looking at further losses. And we could be looking at heading back to the January 2017 low of £3.36. And if you take out that level, we could be looking at heading back down towards £3.23, which a level well, hasn't been seen since November 2016. Um, but if we do manage to see a, a bit of a bounce back and, and the share price does manage to recover from here, let's take a look at potential upsides that we could see. The first area to keep an eye out for will be the area where the, with, where the, where this, where the, uh, where the gap was created in around £3.85, £3.84. Uh, one of the myths about gaps is that they're always filled. They're not always filled, but they are often filled. So if this, if this stock does manage to rebound, an area to keep an eye out for to the upside could be £3.84 to fill that gap that was created here. And should we move beyond that, we could be looking at heading towards 403 or the four four pounds mark. Notice how the four pounds mark acted as a bit of support uh, between September and January. 
Going north of that, we'll be looking at it to potentially fill this gap here, which coincides with the 30 moving average at 415. And if you manage to retake the 30 moving average at 415, that'll be an indicator that that sentiment is, is back turn, is, is turned back positive on the on the predictor of stock and from there we could be looking at testing the october high of in around the four pounds 77 477 area well that's all for me this week thank you very much